Hello, hello, happy Wednesday. <laughs> I didn't think what day it was. I'm used to saying happy Thursday, but um, we have a class tomorrow, so we're cooking yeah. enough dinner for tonight and tomorrow. Look, at, I found a new coffee mug. Isn't that cool? In the inside, it says, I'm not bossy, I'm the boss. Isn't that funny? I'm at Walmart. So real quick, I was watching some YouTube cooking shows while I was at the gym the other day, and I'm throwing together a couple of different recipes that I was watching. One is about, was about healthy meals, and this other one was about making chicken, really easy chicken tenders that your kids will love. And really, it's so easy. I'll be able to put your salt and pepper on it. But there's a trick. So, um, to doing it. So I have, the veggies are going to go in here. And I have this pot also warming up. This is our wok, our stainless steel wok. Um, I'm having that warm up because that's going to cook the chicken. Now, normally I would put everything in together. But this chicken recipe I'm going to show you. It literally takes like eight minutes to make a chicken tender. Eight minutes! And they're healthy chicken tenders. They don't have breading on them. But they're supposed to taste just as good. So, I'm just cooking some veggies to go with it. And you can need to take out the trash when I'm not cooking. Alright. So I wanted to show you something. One of my shows was showing you like, it was really funny, the one I was watching was like, all the different stuff, um, you can, uh, the, the tools you can buy off the Food Network channel, and how you can use them for more than one task. So usually, everyone's seen me cut this pot for a hundred times the same way. Now I'm using this handy little tool, and... Hello. Hey. How do you need seeds? So now I'm just gonna cut it up. Not any good. Oh, what is this one? I'm gonna put a little bit more oil in here. Just some extra virgin olive oil is all we need to cook this up. We're gonna turn this down below. This one doesn't need to be that high. That one doesn't need to be that high. So just going to be, my kids are very upset, they, they were hoping there would be some like tater tots or french fries, but nope, we're just going to do broccoli, some red pepper, oh my goodness, I went, the reason I'm so late starting is I uh, started all my seeds for my garden, I'm so excited, oh this is such a bad habit, you know what, I'm so used to cutting it that way, look what I did, look what I did. Alright, I'm going to chop this up real quick. I was going to put some onion in it, but I really don't know. It's still fine. Maybe I will. Alright, so we got to get to the chicken. That's what you're going to like the most. Trust me on this one. Alright, let's get rid of this one. Alright, so I used my... um. There's a paring knife that comes in this set. So I use the paring knife to cut up the chicken. Um, I do have, actually, the scissors to go with that. But make sure you say hi so I see who's here. Um, but I can't find them. It was in this drawer, and then this drawer fell out. This is not, It's a pretty, pretty work area. I'm glad I have it. Don't get me wrong. But it's a little cheaper than I thought it was. Made that at least. Okay, so the trick to this um, is just salt and pepper. All that I did, just a little salt, a little pepper. I'm 
and we're gonna use the tongue to turn it over. You wanna get both sides of salt and pepper. It's hot as warm it's used right now. Let me turn it off. I never tried this before, so it was a little gauging. I also don't want to burn my new pot, so we're gonna turn it off because it is hot to the temperature we want. I'm just not ready for it yet. All right, salt again. So the salt, what the salt and pepper does, it's going to hold in whoops, the moisture in these chicken tenders, so they're gonna be nice and juicy when we're done. So in the pot we go. You want this at a really high heat. I'm gonna try to get you. Oops, well, let's not stick to the outside here. Just to make sure it's in there. Okay, back on high heat. There's a little oil in here. Just because I'm nervous. <laughs> So you don't need oil, but I'm nervous. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. Say hi. Okay, so after, you have to do a minute on each side. So I'm not even touching. That one is touching. You want to make sure it's all touching the bottom. Hello, hello. Um, so that way it's all cooking. And here. We're going to move you closer so you can see this. Because you got to see this to see what it looks. See? It's already cooking. Already to where we want it to. So I'm going to quickly swap it over. You just want one minute on each side. So you want to get that white, white shell. You want to do it so you're not drying out the chicken. Because I'm kind of, this is all my bad hands getting sore. I was doing weights the other day. I'm trying to build up my arm and wrist strength. So like my bad hand is really starting to bother me right now. But hopefully it'll be worth the pain. Hopefully I'll get it strong and it won't bother me anymore. Well not as long. I'm sure my arthritis in the weather will always be there. Alright, so yeah. Bring it in again so you can see it. So you can see how that's white. You want that white on both sides. It probably would have worked a little better if I did it over here in the flat pan, but I don't have a lid for this one. And I have a lid for that one. So now we're gonna let it. There we, go. we want to pull that heat in here. We're gonna turn it off and we're gonna let it sit for six minutes. While that's sitting, I'm gonna cut up an onion and put it in with the veggies. And if you're new to my cooking group, because I know there's some newbies, um, I was really excited to look at the numbers today. Um, don't cut the root. If you, leave that for last. Because when you cut the root, it's what um, defeats the juices that make you cry. No one wants to see me crying while I'm cooking. I just keep looking at the clock because I'm like, did I remember what time I put it on, the, the thing on? It says only six minutes and then it's done. So, let's see. So then again, it is my first time doing it. I'm sure that person that did the video has made it like a hundred times. But, then you know, you're, you can always throw the veggies in the wok and cook it for another couple minutes if you want to make it into like a stir fry. 
throw some seasonings in there, throw some, um, some rubs or some, uh, marinades, some barbecue sauce, that time of year. I like when the onion's a little crispier. Like, I don't want them raw, I want them cooked, but I like them crispy. So that is why I'm like throwing it in here at the end. I said I was making chicken tenders, the boys got all said I was like, oh, we have peter sauce and french fries? Nope, we're having vegetables. Here, we're having chicken tenders and vegetables. It looks really yummy though. I'm excited. In two minutes. Yay! I want to show you the whole thing with these things. These chicken tenders. Jenna has to stay with me. What is everyone cooking for dinner tonight? Let's share what we're cooking. I bought Jeff the new barbecue set. Well, our new, it's a new barbecue set for us. But it's the Pamper Chef barbecue set. So I'm hoping he'll do a live stream using it. Cause it's really cute. And it comes in this um nice little fold up container bag so it's easier for storage and if you're like taking it somewhere you're going camping someday i will have our indoor outdoor grill someday over the rainbow it's on my wish list all right those veggies are done and of course i'm still getting used to using this kind of a stove i'm so used to using a uh gas but here, I'm sure I'm boring you, so let me show you real quick a peek at the tenders. See, they're cooking up really nice now. So, hope you guys all have a great Thursday. Oh, sorry, see, I'm so used to doing Thursday. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Bye, everyone.